<sighs> Hi everybody, it's Albert Bouchard, bringing you the second season of Most Cowbell. Coming to you from Las Vegas. Here I am, beautiful Las Vegas. It's a little chilly because it's February right now. So I think the temperature is about 40 degrees. It's chilly, but it's not that bad, really. I have my very light leather coat that I bought in London when I was uh, with the Blue Oyster Cult in 2016. The advice of Chasm Sultan. I ran in London, which was fun. I've run in Las Vegas now, first time this year, and I'm trying to get back to, to running. I actually signed up for the marathon. I'll find out if I've been selected. I think that's a Southwest flight. It's coming. It's flying into the airport. Nope, it's a Delta. Actually, okay. Anyway, we're in the flight path. I'm here uh, at my girlfriend's mother's house, Joyce Nowlin, and uh, come out to see her. I've been here several times. This is, I think, the sixth time I've been to Las Vegas in a year. And the reason is because uh, my girlfriend's mother is here, her brother is here, and her family is here and also my oldest son is living here Jacob and so uh, I come out to visit them and it's it's kind of a fun place to visit uh, there's a lot more to do than gamble I'm not much as I said in the or the first Las Vegas episode last season uh, I'm not much for gambling I uh, I did gamble a couple nights ago Actually, it was it was different. It wasn't a slot machine. It was a video game. It was the Walking Dead video game, and uh, if you you got money if you got, I think, 1,200 yards. You had to run, and then uh, and you had to kill at least four zombies, or or destroy the zombies because they're already dead. So you can't really kill them, but you destroy them before they destroy you. Didn't, uh, I didn't get any farther than that, so I ended up losing like $40 playing this really kind of crazy, but kind of fun game. It was not not your regular, you know, repeat bet, you know, uh, slot machine kind of thing. So uh, they, they get, they've got to, they find ways to get you, even if you, uh, you're too smart to do the slot machine thing, they still, they find ways to take your money. I went to see a great show here. It was the uh, zombie burlesque. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be scary, but it was not at all. It was it was in a comedy club. It was very funny. It was uh, it was a lot of shtick and uh, a lot of sexy jokes and and uh, the men and the ladies all took off their clothes. And, uh, but it was pretty pretty tame as far as that kind of stuff goes. But it was fun, so it was a good time was had by all. I haven't been doing too much. I've been practicing guitar, working on uh, the intro to this vlog series. I've, I've decided I want to have a new intro, something different, something a little bit more uh, that was going to take me a, more work to, to make it happen. I, I jazzed up the music. I still have the same music, but you'll see. Uh, or you've already seen it. You've already seen it. Uh, I have tried to upgrade my standards. I'm going to be using my Canon Rebel T6S for most of my episodes, uh, if they're planned out like this one is. Uh, and also, I've gotten a uh, shotgun mic, a shoddy, as they say, uh, to hopefully get a better sound quality. Last time when I was here, 
Uh, I used my iPhone and uh, the wind noise was terrific. It was really making it very difficult to hear. <laughs> I've been cleaning up the, this backyard, but uh, it's a slow process. I've been doing a lot of things around uh, Joyce's house to make it nicer. Lisa's brother Chris and I have been redoing her bathroom and uh, if it gets uh, done before I leave I'll take a picture you can see how it's pretty cool it's kind of modern totally doesn't fit with the, the 50s style house that this is but that's okay it's uh, it needed to be fixed so there was some problems in the bathroom so anyway and I've been a handy guy I I've built a lot of things I like to work with wood and uh, in addition to all my musical endeavors, I, I do stuff, I fix things, I would like to have more time to spend uh, with my musical stuff, which is why I've been working so hard to put out a whole bunch of different records with different groups and just trying to keep my options open as, as wide as possible. Uh, musically, I've been working on the next Spirits Burning record. I said uh, on Facebook and other places on my website, I said that uh, an Alien Heat would be out by now, but it is still not out. I guess this is what happens when you when you have a record company. Uh, it's good in many ways. They they have a publicity machine in, in place, and they have. Um, money to pay for uh, production. The Alien Heat uh, record is going to be coming out with a booklet, a lyric book. There's uh, uh, a special edition that's been signed by myself, Mike Moorcock, and uh, Don Falcone. And Don, of course, is the man behind Spirits Burning, so uh, and, which is a collective of musicians. A whole bunch of people. The Alien Heat record has uh, Richie Castellano, Anne Marie Castellano, Buck Dharma, Joe Bouchard, Andy Chernoff, Don Fleming, uh, Harvey Bainbridge, Bridget Wishart, and myself, of course. A lot of people. So that is still uh, set to come out sometime, hopefully, sometime this year. It's been done for a long time, it's been mastered and mixed. I, I have a new record coming out uh, next month, actually uh, next Thursday, called Fidelis Ad Mortem, and that is something that I talked about in the last vlog season, season one of MoCo, Moise Cowbell. That is a, a record that uh, pays uh, tribute to uh, exemplary law enforcement officers, specifically ones it, from New York City, I've always felt that New York City cops are the best, and I still feel that way. So, oh, oh, and the other thing is that uh, Blue Coop is making a new record. Uh, we don't have uh, any title yet, but we've, uh, we've practiced about uh, 15 songs so far. But, uh, we're gonna try and flesh out the arrangements of these uh, 15, or uh, may, there might be a, a song or two more. So, very excited about the uh, new Blue Coop record, and uh, it's going to be great. A week after next, the Bouchard Brothers, which is my brother Joe and myself, and also we've got uh, Joe's friend uh, Joan uh, helping us out on rhythm guitar and background vocals. So, we're going to be playing a gig at the Vault in New Jersey. We're really looking forward to that. That should be a lot of fun. It's primarily acoustic uh, uh, stuff. There's no drummer. Uh, I'm, I play a little percussion uh, in the songs, and uh, but I also play guitar. So whatever I can play to help the song out, that's that's my role. And uh, but I do get to sing lead on a bunch of songs, which is uh, I really like that. Here I am, about to leave Las Vegas, about to get on the airplane. It's been a very successful trip. Got our next door neighbor here. She's turned 100 today. We're gonna say uh, happy birthday before I leave. That's about it.